Welcome to How To In A Few. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to rebuild the diaphragms and insides of a sewage uh, septic system air pump. Uh, if you follow any of our videos, you'll know that we recently were flooded and uh, all this got underwater, including the pump. The air conditioner uh, was okay and survived it, but the air pump actually got water inside and that caused uh, the mechanism to move back and forth trying to pump water instead of air, um, which ripped the diaphragms. I've already taken it apart and looked at it, but I'm going to show you step by step uh, how to remove it, how to get to the inside. I ordered a couple of, uh, well, not a couple, but a couple of parts, but uh, it's a kit to rebuild it. These pumps start around $300 and you can spend as much as you want on up from there. This kit was around $70 online. It fits this model pump. Other pumps are going to be similar. Um, so even if you don't have this particular one, uh, it should work about the same. Just need to make sure that you match up your model number with the rebuild kits to see if it's even available. Not all the pumps are even serviceable, serviceable the way that this one is. So let me go ahead and get it from underneath the cover and disconnect it so we can see what we are up against. The first thing I'm going to do is rake away some of this debris. This is insulation and other stuff that was removed from the house after the flood. Kind of make my work area a little bit uh, easier to deal with. First thing I have to do here is undo this rubber boot. That's already been done. First thing I'm going to do is take off this top cover. Underneath here there's a little sponge filter, but I've already removed it, so it's not there. Then there are four screws. Two of them are already out. Finally, the kit comes with a new filter. Now we see the inside of the pump. So this is actually a dual diaphragm pump squished in between this plastic piece of the rubber diaphragm. And in the center here is a little rod that moves back and forth and operates the two diaphragms and it sucks air into the inside and then through out the pump nozzle here to the sewage system so we're gonna have to undo this let's take a look at the kit so we see what parts came with our kit all right so here's our kit here's our new filter sponge filter that's gonna go on the top This should look similar to what we were just looking at this way around. Actually comes the diaphragm is already attached to the inner plastic piece. There's no rips around this. And this functions to move back and forth. Very little play. Kind of assumed it would move more. any event that gets reattached one on each side and we should be good to go along with it come two nuts and washers presumably to anchor the diaphragm to the piston we'll see how that all fits in a minute all right first thing I'm gonna do is remove this Hose. And we 
wish that I would have bought. So inside of each one of these housings is a little ball valve, acts as a check valve to only let the air go one direction. And there we can see now that the diaphragm is completely ripped away. Now I want to make sure we don't reuse these aircraft nuts and use the new ones that came with the kit. Here you can see the rubber part of the diaphragm is destroyed. Honestly, we are just moving quite quickly. That's the new diaphragm there. I know I was a little bit in the way there, but you'll see the other side in a minute. All right, so one side has been done. We're gonna take a rag and kind of clean up the area a little bit once we're finished. All right, this side, I move the camera a little bit further down. Hopefully that gives you a little better view. Again, this one's completely broken too.
kind of crisscross these screws as I tighten them up. My hope there is that everything tightens up and placed the way that it should. All right, so technically now the pump has been rebuilt. New diaphragms, new check valves. Let's make sure we put that up. I'm gonna wipe this down. There's also, it's suspended on these little rubber feet, so I wanna make sure that every one of those rubber feet is correctly installed the way it's supposed to be. And it looks pretty good. So you're curious for a little test run? Let's see what happens. Alright, it pumps and there is air coming out. So we're gonna go ahead and wipe it down, clean it up, and put it back together, reinstall it on its platform. Main thing is that I want to get the rubber seal area clean and I'm going to wipe out this too. Alright, one last quick cleanup. Now the final install, reinstall. Okay, you see the red light is coming on and off intermittently before it was staying on. That's because there's a little pressure sensor and it has to pump the water through all the underground tubing and start to bubble inside of the sewage tank before it's going to read the right pressure and the light will stay off. So I anticipate the little alarm is going to go off a little bit, maybe a couple of times before everything kind of stabilizes. But it's very quiet now with the cover on. You can barely hear it, but it is pumping. And uh, hopefully we're back in business. <laughs> and 
it's a dirty job but somebody has to process our sewage so that it's safe to reintroduce into the wild all right so there you have it that's how you rebuild a sewage system air pump uh, 70 dollars repair saved me a lot of money uh, not having to buy the 300 350 dollar uh, air pump um, i originally bought the air pump from septic solutions a really good deal very uh satisfied with it the only reason why it broke was the fact that we were flooded and uh had some damage to the rest of our house including this uh, so I was overjoyed to find the $70 repair kit as opposed to having to buy a new one the repair kit I got from wholesale septic solutions or something like that I'll put a link uh, or something in the description of both companies if you'd like to check them out high quality products both of them and I highly recommend them so hopefully that helped you out and either you know you're deciding to rebuild yours or replace it either way you have more information than what you started with so that you can make a better decision uh, if it helped you in any way please give me a thumbs up consider uh, supporting the channel by clicking the uh, support donate button and uh, thanks for watching I'll see you next time